download the Meet Kevin app. It's totally free. Don't sell your info. It shows you latest videos, but the big thing is you'll always get notified if you want to. You can choose to get notified or not when a video is posted or we're going live. All right, let's listen more to Drum. Let me just pose it then in kind of a more abstract way. Um, would you say that infrastructure is anything that allows for the expansion of productive capacity and contribution to long-term economic growth? I, I don't see anything objectionable about that. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I, I just very much appreciate your emphasis on investment because that's what we've been doing with the American Rescue Plan. That's what we wanted with the American. See, look, they're just trying to literally pitch their own plans. Like it's kind of like he he gave this whole narrative, and it's like, okay, cool. Thanks, Jerome, for basically saying my bill is awesome. It's like Jerome's like just getting cornered here, and you can see Jerome's face. He's just like, dude, when are you gonna actually ask me a question? <laughs> uh, it's something else. What abs? What abs? All right. Uh, so we'll wait for a little bit more insight here uh, from uh, Jerome. In the meantime, it is twelve. This is usually when we begin the regular market closing uh, live stream. I do want to mention that I still have a little bit of weakness here. Ashford Hospitality had such an incredible run, and it's really, uh, really on this uh, rotation down here. So this is a definitely a rough trend to be on right now. We do not own any of this. But it is one that we've been watching, and uh, this is a pretty steep uh, declining trend that we've got going here. Obviously, right now we're on the average candlesticks, but the trend is still down. Obviously, easier to point out the trend here at the average candles, but some of you have been wondering which candles are. Uh, we've got uh, Plug still, still leading the day here. We've also got this recovery in Upwork, which I was looking at Upwork uh, a little bit here, and, and you can see sort of just this, this mess of a chart here but i'll tell you something that's very bullish is a look how it finally broke out above the 52 level here because you've really got three touch points here look at that one two three and finally a break that's pretty bullish in my opinion for upwork upwork uh, potentially moving off of um, tech related information or, or the, the tech related movement uh this is obviously a classic kind of stay at home play uh, it's a phenomenal company phenomenal product their revenues have exploded i've made lots of money investing in this company i've, I've been looking for opportunities to add more but when it was down over here at 37 i was adding to others that had sold off much more uh so i didn't add over here but still keeping an eye on this one for opportunities just like i think uh docusign right now is a little a little over uh, overrun. I mean, this this run is is pretty incredible on DocuSign. Uh, you had a pretty nice run here, massive kind of consolidation, and uh, still running a bit here. Let's go ahead and listen to Jay Powell a little bit more. Um, you add in the stimulus package, child tax credit, family affords about one hundred ten thousand dollars. I mean, every single employer, literally every single employer I talk to in our district, and frankly, folks, I employers I talk to around the country tell me they can't find people to work. And you think it's more of quitting in retirements, or is it more unemployment, or a combination, or what is it? I think it's a, it, in terms of things that are weighing on on people getting in the labor force. I think it's those three things I mentioned. It's it's still some people are still afraid of COVID. Maybe they're living with someone who's vulnerable. It's also schools are closed still, and and having schools yep. be open again will free up a lot of caretakers. I think unemployment benefits too. I think if we, you you know you would expect a significant. A really strong uh, set of set of jobs numbers coming up beginning in the next month. Well, didn't you expect higher numbers? In, didn't you expect higher numbers in April, and May? Yeah, I did. Which I mean, it sort of surprised me. I, I I guess when you pay people not to work, you shouldn't be surprised when you don't have workers. Um, I've never seen a situation like this where we now this guy just nailed Powell going, hey, man, you expected more people to, to get jobs in April, May. And it didn't happen. Why are we still waiting? <laughs> I've never seen that. I've been in politics 26 years. I've never seen governors turn down federal money. Um, so I think I think that just underscores how serious the problem is. But you said you think it you think it changes soon. Well, we, we know that these benefits run out on the federal ones. What if the Democrats the renew them, which they're talking about doing? Excuse me. Oh. What if the Democrats renew them? That'd be a problem, wouldn't it? Again, I don't comment on... Uh, like no, I mean, I, when you said you expect it to run out and that will help, I'm asking you, that's not what Democrats are saying. They're talking about renewing them. And if so, if it helps, if they if they run out, if they renew them, won't that hurt? <laughs> well, these are, these are judgments for people who stand for... No, I'm just following your logic. You said if it runs out, that will help the employment situation. I mean, I got to be honest. I think, I think we'll see strong job creation in the, uh, in the fall. I really do. Uh, and I, I think they're... All these, Good as you point out, nine point three million job openings, Yo. many millions of people unemployed. There seems to be some kind of a speed limit 
it, it may just be that it's hard to match up with a new job and people feel like they can wait a little bit longer and, and, and really shop carefully. It seems to me, Chairman, and again, I know you don't talk, you're not going to comment on policies, but I don't know if the Democrats are doing anything right. They kept the economy locked down. They're spending money like crazy. Proposing more. Trump's like, whatever, man. I'm trying to be neutral. Proposing all causing inflation. Inflation's went up the last four months, continues to increase. As I said, you got two mandates at the Fed, stable employment, low inflation. We got unstable employment. We got high inflation. And now they're uh, paying people not to work. And that may continue. Um, and then finally, on top of all that, they're thinking about raising taxes. I mean, I, this is amazing to me. First, you pay people not to work, and then the folks who are working, you're going to raise their taxes, and somehow they think that's going to help our economy. When, as I said now a couple times, every single employer I talk to tells me they can't find people to work. What do you think about all these policy ideas for the Democrats? I, I got Get him! Not my job. No, but your job is stable employment no, and, and low inflation. Right now, we have no, nine million jobs no, opening in inflation that's went up five months in a row. So something has to give. I don't necessarily. I'm not necessarily blaming you. I'm, I'm blaming the Democrat policies, and it seems to me the idea that they're going to extend the federal enhancement makes absolutely no sense. The idea they're going to raise taxes on hardworking Americans makes absolutely no sense. And the idea they're going to spend dollars also makes absolutely. This no guy's sense. getting grilled so hard. Like said, it seems to me they are doing everything He's such a champ. wrong, making your job that much harder. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. It's a good thing. Too. Crushed. <laughs>